You are now you listening, are now to listening to conversations, conversations with, with Jack, Girl. Jack Girl. Hi guys and welcome to another exciting episode of Conversations with the Mind Jack Girl. As usual, I am your host bringing you the tea, bringing you the gist, bringing you everything that goes on in my life and in our environment today and as is my custom, I have to say a big welcome to those that are joining us for the first time. Whether you stumbled upon this podcast or you actually searched for it, can I just say I absolutely love you. And if this isn't your first time, if you are a returning OG like me, you're here once again. Can I say I love you guys? Thank you so much for coming back over and over again. All right, so let's dive right into what it is we're talking about today. Now, see, here's the thing. I'm actually heading out. I'm going out because today is a Friday and I have a long weekend. And I don't mean like public holiday. I mean, I actually have a long weekend, as in I have things planned for every day this weekend. And so because of that, I thought, why not do a video and take you guys along with me? So that's what's happening today. You guys are coming along with me as I have my fun this weekend. Now, if you follow me on TikTok, you'd know that I've been talking about things you can do in Lagos State aside from clubbing. And so I'm using this weekend to sort of show some of the things you can actually do this weekend. Day one, today's Friday. And guess what? We're going out. So a friend of mine is throwing a house party. Now, first of all, can I just say, I've thrown a lot of house parties before and I know how much they cost. Trust me, house parties don't have to be expensive if you were smart enough. When I used to throw my own, we used to, we used to um, budget like between three to, we used to budget between three to five thousand naira per person. And it would be enough to get drinks, small chops and actual food. You just have to know how to plan your time and then plan your day and plan how many people you're going to get. So if you have a, like access to a house, why not throw a house party? House parties are not club substitutes, guys. House parties can actually be fun with actual games and stuff. I don't know what's going to go on where, where I'm going to right now. But I'm telling you that there are games you can actually play that are more than true to day or never have I ever. Guys, there's so many things you can do in a house party. And so, and so I hope you guys actually think about throwing house parties with your close friends and play actual games. Have fun. You know, it's cheap. It is not club related. You don't have to spend the whole night. You can actually have it during the day. It all just depends on you and your vibe. The second thing is tomorrow I am going to LCC. Yes, Lecky Conservation Center. Now, trust me, I've been there like four times. Out of the four times, I've climbed that canopy twice. I'm never doing that again. I'm not even going to do it tomorrow. But um, it's actually a fun way. I really like going to LCC because I love taking pictures. I love the walk. I love the environment in general. So I do advise people to actually take that. Just go there, take a stroll, walk around, have fun, take pictures, enjoy the environment. Enjoy nature, my people. Enjoy nature. And then for day three, I'm going paint and sip. Now, I have been looking for the, forward to this one for a long time. I've actually really wanted to do this for the longest time. But then the ones that we're seeing was always on the island, always on the island. I don't know why you guys are obsessed with the island. Anyway, I finally found one on the mainland recently. And so I'm going for it. It's going to be, you know, a lot of fun. I'm going on my own, so I'm going to meet a bunch of new people. I'm going to have fun. Um, Yeah, so how about I just show you guys how my three days go is going to go. So um, I'm going to stop the talking here. And the next thing you're going to see is me on day one. Have fun, and I'll be back.
hi guys so there's been a change of plans right i'm still getting ready i am still going out um but unfortunately i wouldn't be going to lcc like i planned because unfortunately it's raining and the person i'm going with well it's actually gonna just be stressful to go to lcc in the rain so i decided um i'll be going somewhere else now I'm in Lekki, which means that I have places to go to. Where am I going? Now, apparently, I've been in Lagos for years and I've never visited the Lekki Arts and Crafts Market. And it's located not too far from where I am. So I'm going to take a walk there this very soon, once the rain like, calms down. I'm going to take a walk there. And then from there, I'm going to stop at Nikkei Arts Gallery before I... I don't know if I'm going to get food or if I'm going to go home. I will let you guys know. But yeah, my, my plans have changed. Oh, we're still gonna have fun so yeah still come with me went through a lot to actually get to my destination the flood was terrible i don't know how you guys coping like he but it was terrible anyway it wasn't a bad thing because when i arrived i felt like i was in heaven it was like everything i've ever wanted was in one place and i wanted to go crazy thank god that i had a spending limit because ugh. but seriously they have like so many art pieces when i mean so many i mean they have so many art pieces both for inside of your house and also for if you want to wear something you know to the beach or out or you just like african prints and you want it on your body they have it all around it i came for a specific bag but i know i buying like quite a bunch of different things and it was totally worth it they have different sorts of art pieces that you can actually get you can actually get paintings for a much cheaper price and then there's just like so many things here that you can actually get and the funny thing is i feel like this place is actually really open to a lot of foreigners because foreigners like this kind of thing and they tend to be around a lot but i think nigerians should actually also go and get some stuff because trust me you would see something you like it's just the way it is but yeah it's it's an amazing place it's not so easy to locate because of where it's located but if you ask around people will actually just direct you and once you get inside you'll know exactly where you are it's inside a building not on the road but it's totally worth it to the next location yes another one we're going to Nike art gallery in Lekki. Now this place is free of charge to enter. One thing I really like about it is that there's so many things to actually get and they actually have like souvenirs like earrings and key holders you can take home. But the most important thing is the paintings. I don't really have much to say about this. If you just like art and you want to feel artsy or you just want to admire something pretty, Nikkei is the place to be. But be ready to walk because that place is massive and there are so many paintings you will stop on every floor. But it's totally worth it so I do advise you guys actually go to there. So for day three, I decided to go paint and sip. So I saw this company online. It was actually by chance. They're called Paint and Buzz. So they usually have like um, paint and sip sections in different places in Lagos State. So I decided to go for it. I went on my own. That thing is harder than it looks, guys. I don't know how you guys made it seem so easy, but it's actually harder than it looks. But I actually had fun. My instructor was really good. He really helped me. Uh, my painting was fun. I met some new people. There was food. There was snacks. There was drinks. Um, yeah, you guys just wait for the end products of Mount Shah, but I did well. <laughs> welcome back yes it is over my three-day weekend is over and trust me it was completely worth it my body feels like though someone has hit me a couple of times but it's fine i don't mind it at all i actually had fun now i wanted to give a budget before i actually close out um because i feel like though it's always like helpful to know how much you should budget for things like this now for day one it was a house party and the person i went with um 
it was actually free of charge for us because it was like a close friend thing right but if you do want to go for a sponsored house party then just budget between five thousand to like thirty thousand it depends on the location the person who is doing it the number of people and a bunch of other things so just budget between five to thirty thousand per person for a house party in Lagos state but if it's just you and your close friends or if it's a friend's party it's sometimes free of charge so yeah um that's for a house party the second one is the art and craft market and make it at gallery now those two things are absolutely free of charge you can literally just go there and walk around you know camera you know in hand just take some pictures videos nobody's gonna stop you for that however um if you do want to buy something at um, the arts and crafts market you should budget between 1000 and above because things start from as low as 1000 if you can bargain all that is um earrings um bags all the sort of things are really affordable over there uh but if you want to go to like a really high price you can literally get something over a hundred thousand around those paintings can actually go that high so yeah um that's how much you spend at the arts and crafts market nikkei art gallery is completely free you can just go in walk around nobody's going to stop you look around look at the paintings if you do want to buy something at the souvenir shop also budget between like two thousand or above um but then as i said there's always free souvenirs if you guys actually are walking into the souvenir shop most people don't notice it but there's like a basket that has like different things inside them they have like earrings like when i showed you guys yesterday and they also have like key holders so you can just pick it up nobody's gonna stop you those are recycled materials that they're just trying to like you know do something off so yeah that's that and then for today's own which was the paint and sip which i had so much fun doing um that one was actually twelve thousand naira. now paint and sip in nigeria usually goes between ten thousand to twenty five sometimes thirty thousand depend on depending on who is sponsoring it depending on location and other things so whatever company you decide to work with just budget between ten and thirty thousand naira. with that being said i hope i have been able to help you guys like have a budget for things like this trust me as i said there's so much to lagos than just and clubbing and not everything has to be overly expensive mine even became a bit you know pricey because i went for three days straight right but if you go for one of them at a time sometimes you might own the most expensive might be your cab fare so yeah with that being said thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm gonna be doing another video soon because i'm really trying to put a list together of restaurants that actually have a twist in lagos like zaza like vault you know places like that but um, I want to try and go to these places first so that, you know, I have a better idea and I know what I'm telling you guys. So I'm going to be putting doing that maybe in the next video. I'm not sure yet, but it completely depends. And before then, I would be posting them on Instagram, on TikTok. So in case you don't see me here for a bit, just know that's where I am. You can follow me on both platforms. Link would be in the description as always. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for listening to Conversations with a Ninja Girl. Your host is signing out. Ciao.